Watches and movies, a fun subject. I love it because every time we, not every time, but a lot of times you go to the movies and guess what? They're showing a watch. A watch has made it into the movie somehow. Uh, TV shows now. What's up with all that? Is it is it is it is it um, something that's being planned? Is it uh, marketing at its best? Is it accidental? What's the story with that? But let's uh, let's uh, take a couple of let's take one aspect, uh, one example. Now, where did that happen? That happened in James Bond. Uh, recently, I think it was James Bond, maybe two years ago. It was uh, Casino Royale. The idea was uh, it was Omega. Omega wanted to establish itself as the new James Bond watch of choice over and above Rolex because in the past Rolex was the, the watch of choice uh, of James Bond. So let's watch the, um, the, the uh, clip and uh, let's have some fun on it. <laughs> I like the spoke of fame and that makes perfect sense. Since they're my six looks for maladjusted young men, I give little thought to sacrificing others in order to protect queen and country. You know, former SAS types with easy smiles and expensive watches. Rolex? Amiga. Beautiful. So, what do you think? That was brilliant. It was brilliant. They actually, they actually wrote in the script and she's identifying him um, by saying, oh, you're a Rolex man. He goes, uh-uh, uh-uh, Omega. 